Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Pramod Thorat and this is another CompTIA A plus code to exam practice test series part 8 and this part is also very helpful to pass the code to exam. So this practice test has 20 questions. So before you get start, don't forget to subscribe this channel to see more video like this. So let's go to the questions. The first question is, a technician arrives on site to find that two users who have the same model on Android smartphone are having the same issue with a specific application. So whenever they attempt to launch the application, it fails and gives an error message. So which of the following should the technician do first? And the options are, option A is a reinstall the application, option B is roll back the application to the earlier version. Option C is a clear the application catch. Option D is a update the OS of the smartphones. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is D, update the OS of the smartphones. So let's go to the next question, question number two. So the question number two is, a technician is working on a Windows 10 PC that is running slowly. So which of the following commands should the technician use the correct these issues? Choose two. And the options are option A is a DR, option B is a CHK DSK, option C is a DSM, option D is a IP config, option E is a format, option E is a disk part. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is B and C. B is a CHK DSK, option C is a DSM. So let's move to the next question, question number three. And the question number three is, an administrator is setting up a Windows terminal server. So which of the following settings should an administrator modify to increase server security? Choose two options for the below are the options. So option A is a change the default access point. Option B is a enforce password complexity. Option C is a put the terminal server into the router's dematerialized zone DMZ. Option D is a disable logon time restrictions. Option E is a block all unused ports on the LAN smart switch. Option F is use the local client certificate for server authentication. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option C and option E. Option C is a put the terminal server into the router's DMZ. Option E is a block all unused ports on the LAN smart switch. So let's go to the next question, question number four. Question number four is a company has hired a new IT firm to manage its network switches and routers. The firm is geographically separated from the company and will need to able to securely access the devices. So which of the following will provide the ability to access the devices? Option A is a Telnet, Option B is a SSH, Option C is a RDP, Option D is a VNC. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is B, SSH. So let's go to the next question, question number five. Question number five is a small office's wireless network was compromised recently by an attacker who brute force a pin to gain access. The attacker then modifies the DNS settings on the router and spread the malware to the entire network. So which of the following configurations most likely allow the attack to take place? I choose two. Option A is a guest network. Option is a, B is a TKIP. Option C is a default login. Option D is a outdated firmware. Option E is a WPS. Option F is a WEP. So let's check the correct answer for this question. The correct answer for this question is C, default login and F, WEP. So let's move to the next question, question number six. So question number six is, a client wants a technician to create a PC naming convention that will make the client's PCs easier to track and identify while in use. So which of the following naming convention formats should a technician follow? Option A is a domain name, location, IP address. Option B is a domain name, location, asset ID. Option C is a asset ID, MAC address. Option D is a location, RFID. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is C, asset ID, MAC address. So let's move to the next question, question number seven. So which of the following provide the best security for a server room? Option, choose two, and below are the options. Option A is a patch reader. Option A is a bollard. Option C is a biometric lock. Option D is a cable lock. Option E is a USB token. Option F is a privacy windows shades. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option A, patch reader, and option C, biometric reader. 
So let's go to the next question, question number 8. And the question number 8 is, which of the following threads uses personalized information in an attempt at obtaining information? Option A is a veiling, option B is a impersonation, option C is a spoofing, option D is a spear phishing. So let's check the correct answer for this question. The correct answer for this question is D, spear phishing. So let's move to the next question, question number 9. And the question number 9 is, a technician receives an invalid certificate error when visiting a website with port 443 enabled. Other computers on the same LAN do not exhibit this symptom. So which of the following needs to be adjusted on the workstation to fix the issue? Option A is a date and time. Option B is a UEFI boot mode. Option C is a logon times. Option D is a user access control. So let's check the correct answer for these questions. And the correct answer for this question is date and time. So let's move to the last question for this part. Question number 10. So question number 10 is, which of the following is the amount of memory a user is limited to with a 32-bit version of Windows? Option A is a 2GB, Option B is a 4GB, Option C is a 8GB, Option D is a 16GB. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is B, 4GB. So this part has been completed. I hope you are enjoying these videos. So if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more video like this. So I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.